G'day YouTubers, how are you today? Just gonna do a video today guys on my Angle 38 litre. It's the MR40F. I've had this now, it has been about nine and a half years. It's been going a while. It has been used quite a fair bit. I wouldn't say it sits unused very long. Like I've never had an issue with this fridge. It is the, you know, you do get fridges now with better power consumption. I did do a power consumption test on this fridge for what it used in power, it was pretty good. Okay viewers, I've reset the meter. This is the 24 hour test for the Engel MR40F. It's a 38 litre fridge freezer. Now I will reset the temperature. Took me a few days to try and get this fridge to run at three degrees, that's as close as I can get it. And hopefully this is the same temperature as what I did the Waco fridge. So it'll give you a comparison. So I've reset the meter and we'll see how we go. The fridge is cold by the way, and it's full. The sender unit for this is, it's down the bottom in the middle of the fridge. I will show you where it is later at the end of the test. It's this meter, it uses that very small amount of power. It's using 0.7 of a watt. So I'm not saying this is accurate. This will give you some sort of idea of what this fridge uses. Okay guys, when this fridge is cycling, that's the current draw. It's just under 2.8 amps. We're almost six hours now and it's 3.62 amp hours. It's a very muggy day. It's not very hot, but it's muggy. Okay viewers, coming up to the end of the test here on the angle. So we've used a little bit more power than the Waco. The temperature has been 30 maximum and the minimum was 25 and inside the fridge is 2.7 i tried to set it as close as i could to three degrees i did not open the fridge there it is there 24 hours at 17.2 amp hours we've used okay i'll open the fridge up The sensor is right down, it's down there somewhere, 2.4, 2.5. I'll show you where the sensor is. It's right down there in the middle of the fridge. Yeah, there it is there. You can see it's in the middle. It's right there, it's not next, it's not next to the to the metal element at all, it's right in the middle of the fridge. But anyway, that was the first time I opened the fridge since the test. And it was on, what was it? Yes, yeah, so it had been 30 maximum and 25 minimum. I tried to set it as close as I could to three degrees. That's where the um, the dial setting was on the fridge for the test I did. You gotta muck around with these things till you find the sweet spot. That's where I had it for the test because I, I wanted to get close as I could to three degrees, but I generally have it there, at the light there. And your drinks are nice and cold there. Really, really good. Really, really chilled. There are no issues with this fridge, guys. I've never had a problem. Of any angle I've had, I've never had a problem. They're probably one of the best fridges you will get. They are the most reliable. I, I reckon they are. They're fantastic. You, you are paying for them, yes. I. I'm not disputing that, they are very expensive. They hold their price and they are a very, very good fridge. This is the cheapest angle that you will get. You know, you got the metal case ones there. Now they're very expensive, they're 1300 bucks just for a 40 litre. Where this thing, these are around eight, nine hundred dollars I believe, to get these ones. You know, if you get the bag in the fridge, they're about $900. The new ones are these, they don't have the 240 input they're only 12 volt only. So they've dropped the 240 volt on them. Yeah, sometimes I use the 240. If I'm going away, I generally plug it in to a power point overnight before I go. But it's no biggie, really isn't. Lithium batteries today, it's probably no problem. The new ones now, they've got the light inside. They've got the interior light. They've still got the analog dial, but they've got the, they've got the low power cutout, low, medium, high, yeah, on your battery. They got a little bit of electronics in them, but not much. Not like the Wacos and the other fridges. 
how they all run on apps and that sort of thing. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Till next time, bye.